Hey guys, this is Sunil, your host and those from Ecom Tech Katarka. And today I'm going to talk about smartphones. Uh, yes, a little bit discussion about how you can improve your uh, smartphone's performance and what are the reasons why your smartphone doesn't really work the way it should work. Okay, so let's get back to the basics of the smartphones. Okay, what are the smartphones? The smartphones are just like your brain. Okay, uh, it can store a lot of uh, information it can do a lot of things at the same time just the way your brain does okay uh, it can work on multiple things at the same time just like the way your brain works okay but the thing is that your brain needs a break the same way your phone needs a break okay there are certain things that your brain is not capable of doing and when you try to put in a lot of information and uh, a lot of junk information and uh, unwanted information and you try to do a lot of things at the same time your brain suddenly stops working okay it just gets blank you must have realized it quite a few times so i'm just going to relate the same theory here uh, with the smartphones okay now what is the first reason why the smartphones doesn't really work the way we want it okay the first thing you need to check is about the software updates okay uh, you might be getting quite a few software updates on your uh, smartphone asking you to upgrade the phone to uh, Marshmallow from Lollipop and if it's already in uh, Marshmallow then there will be a couple of more updates asking you to uh, re-update it to get certain issues fixed here and there. Okay, so I would suggest you guys to wait for the right time for the software to be updated. Okay, if you, if you notice uh, that sometimes there will be a couple of fixes here and there for the uh, software so you just don't go ahead and uh, update the software okay just wait for a few more days for the software to get rechecked because it, it normally happens when these companies they update the software they instantly throw it to the market okay and what happens is they come to realize the issue from the users like we and you okay when we report the issue only then they actually get to know about the issues with that particular uh, software okay so i would suggest you to wait for a certain period of time until the software is actually running successful in multiple di different uh, mobile phones don't go with a soft soft update soft update means if there are uh, minor one or two fixes here and there with the software like in marshmallow if it's 6.0.1 and if it comes to 6.0.2 then i would suggest you wait for it okay uh, let it come the better way then you go for it because what happens every time you update the software it tries to become slow all right the next point is about the applications there is a uh, if you guys are installing too many applications uh, in your smartphone uh, it's not going to help you in the long run because uh, it's going to take a lot of data from your mobile phone a uh, lot of data means uh, storage data okay and what happens normally it gets stored in your uh, phone memory and uh, not directly in your uh, your external memory card okay so it becomes very difficult for your phone to process it the way it should process uh, as it cannot identify the right source for the phone to perform simultaneously okay so I would suggest you guys not to install too many applications on your phone uh, just do it if it's really important and if you think it's not really important just uninstall it immediately okay don't try to keep it for a very long time because it's, it's just going to stay out there and eat your data and it will make your phone go very slow in the long run and from the day one if you if you want to try give it a try you can just download 10 random uh, applications okay and check the performance on the next day okay it will become really damn slow okay so just give it a try i mean there is nothing wrong in giving a, a try if you want just install the reliable software the reliable applications okay i'm sure that you will find the difference in it okay now third thing guys why i say that the applications really uh, make your phone slow when 
you might be uh, whenever you try to install the software you might be seeing that they ask for certain uh, controls for certain access from your mobile phone like images like voice like data uh, videos okay like the backup information and then you click on accept and then it, the software gets installed okay so that means whenever you're trying to use that software that particular software is trying to get gather as much information as possible from your phone from that particular storage uh, places okay storage accesses like your the camera your uh, photos your gallery your music okay so if, if one particular software or uh, i'm sorry the application is trying to gather so many information from one uh, source then definitely it's going to make your phone go very slow okay so imagine what can happen if you have 10 such applications installed on your phone so they are running at the back end and uh, it's slowly eating your data and trying to gather information from here and there always even when you're sleeping you don't realize that the process that application is eating up your data and trying to gather information from here and there okay so just get rid of those uh, applications okay and try to install those reliable applications where they ask for the minimal access okay if they're asking for too many access at the same time i would suggest you give it a second thought and then you go for it okay next point is also related to the same thing background applications okay just try to cut short the background applications like uh, location okay that is one thing that eats most of the data and tries to make your phone go really slow the background applications they really make your phone go very slow there are many other applications like facebook twitter uh, instagram and uh, news apps and a lot of apps you might have noticed that you get pop up on your screen uh, quite often uh, giving you this information and that information which means that they are trying to use the information at the back end okay and they are doing it rigorously okay they are getting the information from here and there and just throwing it uh, on your phone so what is happening at that time is even your phone is in, in the sleep mode or I'm sorry not in sleep mode but if it's uh, locked still the process is going on okay when you try to open it what happens the, the all the processes get confused okay uh, what to do and what not to do all right so that's that's the uh, point when you realize that your phone is going very slow okay you try to open the phone and then it really doesn't open quite well it takes time to open it when you click on the uh, dialer it takes time to go to the dialer because it's taking time to think and then give you the information as you have installed too many applications that are doing background checks background that they are running in the background okay so just get rid of those background applications try not to keep the uh, applications running just turn off the application uh, background run okay so that's one way to keep your phone run fast okay now the last point the point is fragmented file system guys uh, now what is fragmented file system basically when you install any software they leave certain folders and files in your phone okay so even though you uninstall the phone those files and certain folders they are still in your phone and they each time you go online each time you use the phone they try to get the information from here and there okay and they store in that particular folder you're not aware of it because nobody is normally aware of that thing okay so there is a way to get rid of that you can go to file manager search for that particular uh, software i'm sorry the application which you have installed and try to remove it delete that file after you have uninstalled the application okay so that is one way you can do it the best solution for uh, this issue about the slow phone uh, is to get your phone uh, reset okay do a factory reset if possible after every two or three months because what happens is when you install too many junks uh, too many applications uh, it's really difficult for the system to go back to normal okay and uh, to do it in, in the fastest way you have to just do the factory reset okay before you do the factory reset you can just take the backup of your images of your uh, videos uh, or the uh, clips that you have uh, actually in your phone just put it in your system or in, in any external 
hard disk or pen drive and just do a factory reset okay uh, if you want your phone to go fast run like a rocket uh, this is one of the best solutions that I can give you guys okay apart from that you have I've shown you like there are plenty of reasons like five or six that I've discussed with you these are the common issues okay and the control is totally in your hands uh, as I said that try not to update the software install as low install as uh, less applications as possible try to install just the required ones don't you uh, install the applications which are not really required by you people okay and if you think that uh, you can just try it for a couple of days and then uninstall it once you do it just remove that uh, backup folder that has been created through the file manager okay do not forget these simple steps because these simple steps will help you to keep your phone run longer okay so that's about it guys if you think that uh, if you uh, really think i deserve a like for this then you can like this video or uh, you can also dislike the video i'll not force you for that and if you think this uh, channel is going to be a little help for you in the future uh, in terms of uh, software updates in terms of technical talk in terms of e-commerce discussion startups and youtube obviously uh, you can just subscribe my channel and uh, i'll keep coming with you guys uh, with some more information about whatever is happening around these subjects okay guys so that's about it for today have a nice day bye bye